everyone, this is Greg and welcome to a video tutorial Azure of Empires 2 HD Maximum performance on Windows 10 Alright, this is gonna be a very fast video tutorial guys and If it feels like it's going fast, just pause the video and uh, check it out Links are going to be in the description by the way So, let me just get started here So, if you're first to Vubli and you don't know how to set up Wubbly, I think I'm gonna show you now how to do it. Just go to this link that is going to be in the description. Download the patch. It's a patch actually, a compatibility patch. Double click it and run it. Click next here and before you install, go to, uh, go, go to Steam Library Games, right click Azure Fire to HD, go to Local Files, Click Browse Local Files and make sure it is the same path as in here and then click Next and it will install. I have installed this before so no use to do it over. Alright, now that you installed the compatibility patch, now we are going to head to uh, Bubli. So let me show you how it works actually. When you first log into Bubli, you are going to see uh, the the Vubli Messenger in the game browser. Now if, you're, now if you're a new player with a rank of 1600 below, I'd recommend you go here to the new player lobby. It's highly recommended. Even 1700s. The new lobby. You go there, then usually you should see a window like this. Usually. When you instantly enter, uh, you will see a window like the, this one and it will ask you to click yes. So here you get, you get, you're gonna click yes and it's and it's done. Click here, quit Vubli and start it again and it's done actually. Now your game is installed perfectly on Vubli. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm gonna switch here my uh, status to do not disturb so I can do this tutorial in peace. Alright, I'm gonna go to the new player lobby again now we're gonna get to the real stuff now let's host a room guys let's host quick quick host here and I'm going to show you a little link to the game room settings now we need to set up the game room settings which I'll be showing here everything is in the description so just click the description you see all the links now these are the the uh, recommendation for your game room settings that you are obviously going to find under game menu all right so here we have four desktop we can take take that as well we have uh, all right everything here we, we we can do everything just like this this picture all right guys i think mine is already done so yeah pretty much pretty much done okay that's perfect that's very perfect <clears throat> now we just now I think here at this point we are quite quite done with the game mm, room settings now let's go to Vubli let's go to Vubli uh, folder how to find Vubli folder just right click Vubli icon and click open file lo location if you if you don't have that one or you don't know how to do it just go to C program files x86 or it, it depends then Fubli. Here you, we, we're going to find some folders on top. Now I need you to click game data and then click AOC <coughs> and then right click the, this one. We're gonna see this. We right click it and we're gonna make sure run as administrator then hide the DPI scaling and Windows XP2, okay. The same thing. We, we we're gonna access user patch folder and do the same thing, the exact same thing, guys. Let's do it. We have run the scan. All right, I think now it is perfectly done. If you're wondering why I'm doing this, it, it this will help actually to launch the game faster, and it will also help uh, if you actually change the hotkeys or change the map settings. It will save up. So if you don't do this, there is a chance that your map settings and your hotkeys 
in case you change them that they won't work and by the way if you would like to use your HD hotkeys I have another video in the description you can check check it out how to change or migrate uh, the HD hotkeys to Vublet now we are pretty much done with the step 2 now let's uh, let me show you how to install patches or mods small trees is uh, one of the most important uh, patches to install once once you have Vubli installed and in, in everything just click download here just click the download now and it will install like this you click launch and it will now there are pretty much other mods that you can check links on the description every time I say that there are so much so much mods you, you can check out guys I'm not going to be showing them here okay what do we have on the list excuse me I'm checking the, the list guys because I have everything listed here all right all right we are going to do the clean boot now clean boot is one of the most important things let's do by the way you, you click window but button here and you click run if you don't if you don't have run here just click here ms config like this and you access it all right now here is what you here is what you're gonna do you're gonna see select normal startup at, at first right it's easy then you go here you take this one hide all Microsoft services then you click disable all mine are all already disabled but it's okay I'm gonna do it now at this point you, you're gonna click apply and okay all right and after you click apply and, and OK, you're going to go to the um, taskbar, right click the taskbar, task manager. Now go to um, startup here. Startup and make sure to, to disable pretty much everything. Everything. You, you can just disable it, please. You can leave uh, some stuff for your NVIDIA card or, or Intel card and, and everything. It's, it's fine to leave them. But torrent and stuff, just dis disable them all. Make sure you, you disable, especially the the ones with high impact here. Like, as you can see, startup low, low, low. Okay, if this step is done. We're gonna move on to another one. Ah, uh, yeah. Windows 10 introduced a lot of um, lot lot of lag, actual lag actually. So. We are going to fix that as well. So let's again type in on the search services MSC. We click that, <clears throat> and there are a couple of services that we're going to disable. They will help your Windows 10 to perform so much better. Now let's search Superfetch. See, I I can type with, within this window. Now when you find Superfetch here, just right click it properties then go to uh, disable and click stop here and then click OK then it's done here now we, we're gonna go to Windows we're gonna find Windows Defender <coughs> we're gonna disable that as well yes uh, apparently I cannot because I'm using an antivirus antivirus so it's forbidden that but but it's fine what's important is that you stop it and you, disa you disable it if you can. Now let's find Windows Update. I like to, to disable Windows Update but enable it later if, if you want. Later in case the, there are new updates, important updates. So you disable Windows Update and if you have Xbox you disable all of them because they do really uh, make a lot of lag. Yeah, just di disable them. All X Xbox services, all these. One, two, three, all of them. And we have Windows Search. You can di disable that as well. It's important that you disable it. And Windows, I think it's Windows Themes or Themes. Let me check. Ah, Themes, yes. We are going to, to disable the Themes. 
click disable here again and it's done I think these are the most uh, CPU consuming services so we are done with the services here all right we're gonna we're gonna open up PowerShell or let's type actually Windows Power Shell that's better then we right click Power Windows Power Shell we run it as administrator as you can see here and I will copy this code paste it when you right click it's gonna paste itself so now we just click enter and it will remove every single um, every single app Metro app actually so we get again we're gonna wait for that until it's done I think mine are already removed so that that's cool in the way you, you, you can tell they are actually re removed is that you go to the task manager again and go to app history here you, you will find no app here it, it, it will be just like no data available or maybe you're gonna find one or two it, it's fine because those ones one one of them is Cortana so let's now show you how to remove Cortana where is my links okay my links are here alright just uh, copy this link to your browser and download this file here as you can see it's a zip file alright come on come on download this are downloading it once you download this file just uh, drag all these files to your desktop right all these files to your desktop or any location then you will see two icons this one and this one right click this one and run it as administrator now just just wait for the process to be done okay and finally at the bottom of the uh, comment prompt you will see that you will need to press any key to continue just press any key and and it's pretty much done you, you can now restart Windows or wait until we finish all the steps then restart okay it's no big deal it's no biggie okay I think we're done with the remove Cortana and we are pretty much left <coughs> with the mouse input lag I'm gonna show you one more important thing you, you see the audio icon here on your task taskbar just try to click it and click sounds okay now go to playback and here is something very important we are going to work under playback and recording under playback we right click the the uh, speakers or head headset that, that are set to the to default here as you can see default device we're gonna right click that in properties then go to advanced and make sure it is at 48,000 Hertz or all right 48,000 Hertz is best and click OK then go to the recording and make sure it's the same thing 4800 48,000 sorry Hertz and click OK you may wonder why this will help so much to reduce the mouse lag input lag and for uh, NVIDIA NVIDIA or any other AMD yes NVIDIA or AMD you, you can actually now disable vertical sync <coughs> vertical sync is so important to disable so if you're using a monitor just like, like me I have a laptop like to a monitor you will want to uh, disable the ver vertical sync here as you can see it's off and what's here we have power ma management mode you have this on max performance maximum performance now we go to 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 okay adjust desktop size here it, it's very important here you want to have this on no scaling and yes I have this one unticked and click apply all right 
this uh, these actual settings will help you so much in the game all right we have all right don't worry it's red text it doesn't matter let's go to the other one up I think I think this is gonna be the last one this is gonna be the last let's install Ado cleaner oh sorry Ado cleaner like this you want to install Ado cleaner and scan okay when the scan is done you, re you reboot the computer and again Hitman Pro you install it and this is the same thing you install it and reboot again these programs will help you get, get rid of any malware, adware or anything that uh, or anything that, that will slow down your browser or your system so it's very important to run these scans alright I think the video has been brought to an end thank you for watching see you in another episode